the 2011 trying to improve all of these numbers. So let's just say, and I sure hope it hasn't happened to any of you, that you've had two uh, claims this year, one for discrimination and one for harassment. Your goal then for next year would be to have, um, let's say, 100% improvement, only one. Now, you'd probably it'd be great if you had none, but put a realistic um, number down. The cost of defense as a percent of revenue. This is a number that really gets the attention of a general manager when they start saying, why are we spending all this time on training, and why are we spending all this time on these HR stuff? Because you do not want Mr. General Manager to have lawsuits. And because if it costs us, if we're paying out to attorneys $300,000 using the national average to defend one harassment claim, and the company is making $3 million, showing that as a percentage of revenue is a very powerful number. You might also want to look at time lost to accident. How many times, because you don't have your, your EHS, your OSHA, your EPA programs in place, are you losing to accidents? You can also measure, again, other absenteeism here, but um, I, again, prefer to put it in employee cost. And then training. You want to measure the impact of training year to year against lawsuits and compliance. Training tends to be one of the things that people cut when they're looking at ways to save money. Especially this year, we've all experienced pretty significant increases in our health care costs. Um, for those of you who've gone through open, open enrollment or are going through it now, you probably had sticker shock. Here in Colorado, we had on average a 14% premium increase um, across the board. So you've just gotten a huge increase in your benefit costs. And one of the first things you look to is say, well, maybe we